Hello, my name is Jujun, and welcome back to World of Warships. I have not been in this game for a long time. Well, rather, I have been, but I haven't made a video on it for a long time. So, any World of Warships players out there who are still around, welcome to another video. And anyone who watches my other stuff, welcome to this video as well. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you this match that I had in the Svetlana, which is a tier 4 Soviet cruiser. Um, or is it a Russian cruiser? I think it's the last Russian cruiser which then turns into a Soviet cruiser. Uh, because it's early Russian cruisers and then the line just turns into Soviet cruisers. But anyway, enough of that. The Svetlana is tier 4, it has 24,600 hit points, uh, fully upgraded. Its range is not that good, it only has 11.3 kilometers range which is not as good as that of the, uh, compared to the German tier 4, which is the Karlsruhe. Uh, and you're going to see that later, and he's on the, my right hand side there. The speed is fine, it's almost 30 knots, as you can see, 29.1 knots. It's not hugely fast, but it's not slow either. And we spot a Minikaze. Oh, Minikaze. Going to look at my cam for this. First salvo is very very poor it's very short you can see the reload is around eight seconds for one of these guns the guns are 150 millimeters i think can i check this caliber i don't think i can oh well replays still buggy as all hell <laughs> as you can see the camera is juddering but it was not like that for me playing the game we have a total of 14 guns, or 15 guns rather, uh, all along the sides, and we also have two lots of torpedo tubes on each side. The torpedoes, uh, well, they're more of a defense or last minute sort of aggression tactic, where you close the distance to five kilometers range, and then you quickly put them into your enemy. Or try to. I'm not very good at torpedoes in this game, to be honest. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Off to a great start indeed. I did not expect that. Basically, what had happened there was the Min Kaza, uh, as he says in chat there, lucky shot. It was basically one of my HE shells hit his citadel and um, all of his ammunition, and he exploded instantly. So, that was quite lucky indeed. There is a flag in the game which stops you from ever being detonated like that. And it's given to you when you are detonated. So that guy, he'll leave the match and he'll have, um, I think it's 10 flags which stops you from having uh, that happen to you in a match if you have it equipped. Uh, which is nice. I think that's quite nice to have because it is really frustrating when you get detonated like that. And I've had it happen to me countless times. This Kohlberg is a tier 3 German cruiser. The cruisers for the Germans are kind of a bit crap, if I'm being honest. Um, or the ones I've played anyway. I've only played up to Konigsberg, which is coincidentally that ship over there. And the Konigsberg is okay at best. The Karlsruhe and the Kohlberg is not brilliant at all. Uh, it's, their guns and their AP especially is very poor, even against their own tier. So we have a Kohlberg, which we don't need to worry about, this Konigsberg, and we have a Miyogi at the back there. We also have shots coming in from the left, which I hadn't noticed until just then, which is from the Omaha, or possibly the Nevni, Nevni uh, Destroyer. I'm not going to worry about them, I'm going to angle my ships um, so it's pointing away from the Omaha, so he has less chance to hit me, and I'm going to focus this Collingsburg. Collingsburg is taken down by Greek Rodney via a lot of fire damage, it would seem, as he gets given a uh, medal for arson. <laughs> Kohlberg, still AFK, fire, just keep setting him on fire really, it's kind of a unfortunate way to farm damage but this is what happens in this game people 
Well, in World of Tanks, this game, War Thunder, Armed um, Warfare, people just sit AFK and they're like, I'm not playing the low tiers. I'm just going to wait here and, you know, get a tiny amount of experience. That's my first, uh, second kill row. And um, then they will eventually get up to tier 5 and 6 and 7, 8, 9 and 10. Problem with that strategy is they have no idea what they're doing when they get to those tiers. And I'm not the best World of Warships player or World of Tanks player or Armored Warfare player. I just have those lucky games that I put on YouTube. Um, because there's no point putting up a terrible game unless I was to make like a montage of just terrible things I've done in the game. Like jump off cliffs, go 1 versus 7 because I've gone far too far forward. Uh, in World of Tanks or Armored Warfare, and you know, I make countless errors, so the power of editing and selection is always nice. But back to Svetlana. The rate of fire of 9 seconds it enables me to just keep on pounding this guy with high explosive. Now, you're probably thinking, why can't I use my torpedoes? It's 9 kilometers range, maybe you should be firing torpedoes now. No, um, if you haven't played the Soviets, their low tier, well, even up to mid tier, really, uh, cruisers and destroyers have very poor torpedoes. They have around 5 kilometers range, I think they've been buffed to, but they were originally 4 kilometers, some of them. Uh, I think some of them still are, in fact. And it goes up to about 6 kilometers and maybe 7 kilometers at tier 7 and 8, uh, and then eventually getting up to about 10 kilometers. But the speed is not brilliant. I haven't really played too many high tier games, I've only just unlocked a Mogami. And it's okay. Its range is really bad to begin with. It's only like 13.6 kilometers uh, with its 155mm guns. It does have the ability to use 2 or 3 mil, and I think most people do now because the Mogami used to have one of the best rates of fire in the game with the 155s, and you just HE spammed everyone to death. First set of torpedoes, quite poorly aimed. He's turning in. Second hit, lock. Looks a bit better. He is now turning towards me, and this is where I realize he's about to ram me, so I should have died right here. But I'm very lucky that one of my torpedoes strikes him, and he stops about half a kilometer away from my ship. And sinks to Davy Jones' locker. Anyway, that's three kills, but as you can see from the scoreboard, we only have control of A flag, uh, A cap, and B and C are in control of the enemy. Therefore, our point score is 453 to just over 600. We are losing, in fact. Uh, and the number of ships lost, well, we've lost one more ship compared to their four. So they have a ship advantage, they also have two aircraft carriers, so do we actually. But they have a destroyer and we don't. So he could be a pain. Been detected? Probably that destroyer. Well, I thought it was that destroyer at the time of playing. Turns out, it's that aircraft carrier, the whole show. <laughs> you notice how I um, sort of flick the camera there because I I don't, I, I don't panic necessarily, but I think oh, he's probably going to launch aircraft instantly, so we need to kill him very quickly. And also, nice big flat uh, aircraft runway, we can fill that with high explosive, try and set him on fire, so he can't launch his aircraft. His engines are knocked out by the looks of that smoke. Somebody on my left is firing at a lot of high explosives at him. Two enemy squadrons. From that ho show, as you can see, they have four aircraft in them. Uh, inbound. I thought they were going for me, but they turned away. Svetlana, haven't mentioned the AA. It's tier 4. The AA is trash. You have a few machine guns, like Maxims, but that's about it. I think you also have some bigger AA, but they have such a slow rate of fire and damage. The stock Svetlana doesn't have the machine guns, I don't think. So you're not going to shoot down too many aircraft, and as you saw, there were eight aircraft there, and I didn't take down any of them. The aircraft uh, to my right there did the did most of the work, and I think the Carlsruhe may have got a couple of uh, 
hits in as well, maybe securing a couple of air kills as well. Still pounding away with the high explosive. This is how a lot of lower tier games play, really. You just have cruisers with great rates of fire and they just fire high explosive because their AP penetration is not good enough because of the caliber of the shells. There's my fourth kill. Very nice. And I'm hoping to get that Kraken. Kraken Unleashed is where you get five uh, five kills in one match with one ship. And then you get rewarded with the flag, which boosts the amount of uh, experience you get, which is always nice for a grind. I think I'm done with this Fetlana now after this match. But onto the Kirov next with its 180mm guns at tier 5, which seems a bit absurd. I have heard the Kirov, however, is a bit of a glass cannon in terms of how big it is and how big its citadels are and how weakly armoured it is. Uh, so it's got good guns and good speed but no armour. So we'll see how that plays when I eventually buy it. Now, I could have gone to the left there with that friendly Karlsruhe, uh, but I decided to head around to the right, and the reason for that is the narrow pass where he's gone is, well, it could have been easily uh, ambushed by the, I think it's a Nevni, yep, Nevni Destroyer, he's still sinking, and... I don't want that to happen. I've had it before where people just hide around these rocks and then they just launch torpedoes from about 3 kilometers range and you can't do anything because the rudder shift time is too long and your top speed is too slow, even if it is around 30 knots. Phoenix over there, he's on very low health. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Now, Bogue has been spotted and he's the last aircraft carrier and we really want to deal with him. So, just a case of trying to get into range. You can see I'm at about 13 kilometers range. The Karlsruhe is about two kilometers ahead of me. So I think he has slightly better range or maybe he's just firing slightly before he can actually hit. I can't really tell. They are falling just before the Bogue. Um, so I think the range is compar uh, comparable, but it isn't exactly the same and I think the Svetlana has slightly worse. I had to check the stats and spend such a long time of checking the stats in this game for uh, ships. Now we're in range and we fire off a good salvo of six shells, one of them going far to the left and two of them missing so only three hits but because we have such good rate of fire doesn't matter we can just do what we did before and you can see I've already hit 117 of these shells into several different people and it is glorious. That was a really loud effect and I just realized that was the bombs from uh, the Bogue hitting the cars room or near the water. It's really loud on my <laughs> headphones. I'll uh, hopefully level that properly. We get a Citadel penetration in the Bogue though, which is hilarious because we're firing high explosive exclusively. And... We didn't get the kill. I'm surprised. But we did get a Confederate badge, which I believe is doing 30% damage. Sorry, 30% of the total damage of the enemy team, which is nice. Bogota, the tier 3 Soviet... Um, Russian cruiser. It is much like the St. Louis in terms of it's slow, it has a lot of guns, and it is quite well armed. 130mm guns. I think this may have 130mm guns as well. Our aircraft carrier is calling for help. I'm nowhere near him, unfortunately, so I can't help him. He's under attack from another cruiser and that Nevni. The other cruiser is the Omaha that we saw from earlier. This Bogotar, he took a nasty hit from a torpedo as he was backing up into it. I'm not sure really why he's reversing. Just trying to get that 
Last bit of damage. There it is. Kraken unleashed. Success. And the scores look a lot better. Ooh, nearly going to crash into that guy. We control two flags. And we're just going to cap this last one. And that is pretty much it. The Omaha goes down. But the Nevni evades our grasp. So we'll just take a look at our post-game stats. Or my post-game stats. So there you go, 211,000 credits, 3,300 experience, 166 free experience, a bunch of medals, top of the team on experience, 5 kills, a base experience of 1,472, and lastly, the damage values, when I click it, there we go, all that totaling around 74,000 damage, just shy of 74,000 damage, which I thought was pretty good for a tier 4 cruiser in a tier 5 game. So the medals were the Confederate, the Kraken Unleashed, Lucky Shot, First Blood, and I've forgotten what that cherub looking thing is in the middle, but regardless, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. That was the Svetlana, and as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.